Wine in moderation is good for your health. Music to everyone's ears. And we've all seen the headlines stating that a certain amount of wine can lower your blood pressure, protect your heart, improve your cardiovascular condition. It is why I am a paragon of health. But the World Heart Federation says all those studies aren't true. In fact, more than 2.4 million deaths across the world in 2019 were attributed to alcohol. That's more than 4% of all deaths globally. The WHF says, quote, to date, no reliable correlation has been found between moderate alcohol consumption and a lower risk of heart disease. The ever-changing headlines is enough to make you want to drink. With that, we join in Dr. Lucy McBride, internist, fellow for Bloomberg New Voices. Uh, boy, say it ain't true. That was so good while it lasted. Well, I, I hear you loud and clear. Um, but, but I think the most important takeaway from this whole conversation is that there's really never been and there still isn't any sort of right or wrong amount of alcohol to drink. It really requires context. And my two main questions to patients when we're talking about alcohol and their consumption in my office are number one, how much are you drinking? And number two, let's talk about your relationship with alcohol because there are some people for whom no alcohol is healthy, right? If you're in recovery from alcohol abuse, for example. And then there are people with heart conditions for whom a moderate amount of alcohol is fine. It's part of the fabric of their social life. So this really requires context and not so much, you know, fine tuning and looking at these studies to make decisions in people's actual everyday lives. It's, it's weird though, because every week or two weeks you get one of these studies, okay, eat salmon, eat four Snicker bars, eat whatever, and you're gonna be fine. 2000, uh, 2021, wine and blood pressure, drinking 2.8 glasses of red wine per week lowered your blood pressure, but no more than one drink for women, two uh, for men. How, is this true of sort of every, and that's from the American Heart Association, is, it, is this sort of skepticism and individuality that you point out important no matter what the study is, whether it's alcohol or anything else? So that's, that's exactly my point, right? So, so if someone doesn't drink, for example, and I knew that wine was good for them, I wouldn't recommend starting to drink because alcohol carries other risks, right? I mean, it's not a harm-free substance. Um, we have to use context and nuance. And I think one thing the pandemic has really taught us is how valuable it is to have a relationship with a primary care doctor, to put your kind of behaviors and habits and everyday life in context with your unique health conditions because there really is no one size fits all prescription. It's not like I write prescription for drinking alcohol. I, oh. I really am also not absolutist. I don't tell people never drink alcohol because the study shows it's not good for you. You know, alcohol is part of, you know, people's social life and everyday life and it's a fine substance to use as long as you have a relationship with it that's appropriate. In a broader sense of all of these studies, Half the time, you, you know, it's something about how, hey, sugar's not that bad for you, sponsored by the uh, candy industry, or alcohol's great well, for right. you, sponsored by the Napa wine producers. Right. I mean, you have to be careful where these studies are coming for, from. As you yeah. know, you know, every single day, we're seeing pop-up studies all the time, and, and we have to take the entire body of evidence. Um, and then, of course, again, when it comes to something like alcohol, we have to understand that there are studies and there is real life. There is the real everyday behavior of a person or a patient in my office. Yeah. And you know, that conversation is nuanced. It's not about, you know, yeah. drink one glass a day and that's it. I mean, well, people well, yeah, are not we're, robotic. We're, we're, we're past we're past five o'clock, so you know, I don't know. I might have to have That's a glass right. of wine. Right. A glass of wine tonight, and I will, I will you know, toast, toast your advice. Uh, Doc, it was good to see you. Thank you. Sounds good. Sounds good. All Thank right. you. All right. We want to know what you think on this. How would your relationship with your family change if you didn't have that one, maybe two glasses of wine? Let us know. Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, at Leland Vitter. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.